this is used to look at the severity of acute pancreatitis. And in the CT severity index, we look at three things. We look at pancreatic inflammation, the amount of pancreatic necrosis and any extra pancreatic complication that the patient has developed. So, we look at three things and we make up a total score looking at all these three things. Coming to pancreatic inflammation, if there is normal healthy pancreas there, that is given a value of 0. But if you see pancreatic involvement as well as peripancreatic fat involvement, this is given a value of 2. Fluid collections around the pancreas, this is given a value of 4. So, normal pancreas is 0. Any pancreatic inflammation along with or without peripancreatic fat involvement, that is given a value of 2. Fluid collections within the pancreas or around the pancreas, that is given a value of 4. That is about pancreatic inflammation. Now, coming to the amount of pancreatic necrosis. If there is no necrosis, you give it a value of 0. If there is less than 30% necrosis, this is given a score of 2. And if it is more than 30% of necrosis, it is given a score of 4. So, based upon the amount of necrosis that is there in the pancreas, no necrosis, 0. Less than 30% of necrosis is 2. More than 30% of necrosis is given a score of 4. Next, looking at the extra pancreatic complications. So, in acute pancreatitis, you may develop various complications like pleural effusions, ascites, vascular involvement, you may have, you know, splenic artery pseudoaneurysms developing, you may have perforations in the intestine, the gastrointestinal complications can develop after a very severe pancreatitis. So, whenever you have this extra pancreatic complications developing, you give it a value of 2 and then we get a total sum, right? If it is coming between 0 to 2, that is a mild pancreatitis. If the value is between 4 to 6, that is moderate pancreatitis. And if the value is between 8 to 10, that is a severe type of pancreatitis. So, 0 to 2 is mild, 4 to 6 is moderate and 8 to 10 is severe type of pancreatitis. This is CT severity index that is done to look at the complications, the severity that occurs after pancreatitis. And now, the next topic we'll study is the imaging findings in chronic pancreatitis. Chronic pancreatitis will have presence of calcification in the pancreas on an abdominal radiograph or a CT scan in the region of the pancreas. If you see calcific areas, that is suggestive of chronic pancreatitis. So, remember calcifications are seen in chronic pancreatitis. And chronicity is fibrosis, right? Chronic inflammation leads to fibrosis. And fibrosis leads to strictures and dilatations. And this leads to beaded appearance or tortuous appearance of the main pancreatic duct.